Hello and welcome to the Darkest Hour. My name is Ponymous Crime, and oh my god, I think I've got a hard on right now. The Witcher 3 is out. After waiting three years since we finished The Witcher 2, it's finally out. And over the last couple of days, I've been. I lost my save game for Witcher 2, and I've been desperately trying to finish it over the last couple of days to try and import my save. But I haven't managed to do it. I got to chapter 3, and I've. You know, I'm about a couple of hours out. Uh, so be it. It is what it is. We're going to start a new game. Apparently. That's even better, because as a first impression, the devs have said that you don't need to apply the other two games. It helps, but you don't have to. So let's take a look at what we've got straight away. We've got options, audio, the usual suspects, but it's nice to see that they're all covered. You've got master, music, effects, and voice, uh, which is also good in an RPG because sometimes the voices can get lost in the background, so it's good to uh, adjust that. Control settings, what do we have here? This is for your mouse and your invert on your controller. I'm using the controller because I honestly think it's the best way to play this game. You can probably play it with mouse and keyboard just fine if you're more comfortable to do that. It's going to be easier when it comes to spells and quick use things, but I just prefer to sit back or even lean forward and just have a controller in my hands. That's my, my choice. But if you are using mouse and keyboard, you can completely rebind all of this stuff, which is good to know. Uh, gameplay, what do we have here? On screen tutorials. We're going to leave that on for now because we haven't, haven't played this before. We have played the other two, so we're going to be up in the difficulty, but we're going to leave all the tutorials on. Video. Wait, quite a few things for video. As soon as you go into video, you've got HUD configuration. You can change the HUD size, which, which is good to know because I might change some of this after I get into game, but look at all the stuff that you have. Horse stamina bar. Oh my god. Horse fear bar. Horse can get scared. Oh my god, my durability. Yes, fucking loving this shit. Look at all the stuff that you can fuck with. Lots and lots. NPC chatter. Active quest. You can change all of the, Well, in here, you can only turn it on and off. Rescale uh, HUD. This uh, rescales what you have right now. Um, it just brings up that. You don't need that. Leave it as it is. Post processing. Right, all of this is on. Oh, actually, motion blur's off. And anti aliasing's off. I don't know why. Why is all this off? Chromatic aberration. Depth of field. Turned all of this on. Okay. That's all up to as high as it can go. Don't know what to expect. Did that save that? Post-processing? Yes, it did. And that's just post-processing. That's just effects. When you go into graphics, we have ultra spec. So we have V-Sync off. It is turned on. I turn that shit off. Maximum frames per second, 60. I really hope it ain't not to 60, but if it is, it's not the end of the world. I just would rather have more have two cards, so I'm hoping it's going to be more. That's your monitor if you have more than one. I've only got two plugged in today. Uh, resolution, uh, borderless, windowed. I'm going to leave it on that just in case because SLI does have some tricky issues. Uh, NVIDIA Hairworks. Garrel and on. Yes. I guess that's Garrel only. There's no description of anything here, so off. Garrel only and everyone. Put it on everyone. See what happens. Number of background characters. Fuck it. Ultra. Shadow quality. Ultra. Terrain quality. Ultra. 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 Why are you on ultra spec? Is it all on low? We picked ultra and yet... Hardware cursor's off. Okay, so we've got all of that. Is our graphic settings apply? Excellent. Back up, just make sure that it has applied. Hair works. No, it hasn't. Why hasn't it? Isn't off. Is it because VSync's off? That's better. I'm having an issue with that. Has applied ultra. Yeah, it's applied at that time. Sorry about that mustn't about. So there you have it. That's all we get. Um, there's language. Pick whichever language you want from Arabic. Uh, subtitle, sorry. Uh, text. You have Arabic, Portuguese, Czech, German, English, Spanish, 
Uh, Spanish line is America, French, Hungarian, Italian, Polish, Russian, and Chinese. We're going to stick with English today. Uh, credits and go back to the main menu, which we're going to do because we're going in. Okay, so what do we have here? Just the story. Enjoy a smooth ride through the world. Fuck no. Story and sword. You're happy to be challenged. Uh, no. Blood and broken bones. You're a seasoned demanding gamer. Okay, that's tempting. Or death marks. You're truly insane and loving it. What does it default to? Defaults the story and sword. I think we're going to go with with you're a seasoned demanding gamer. Blood and broken bones. I don't want to be put off by this. You're truly insane and loving it. Because I've played The Witcher 2 on Dark and I got like. <laughs> didn't even go past the first level. So. Let's go to uh, Blood and Broken Bones. Show tutorials. Yeah, we can show the tutorials. Import Witcher 2 save game. Oh, motherfucker, it's working. But only from 2013. Interesting. Well, I didn't. I don't think that one's there. So we're not going to do that anyway. Because I know that those ones, I tried to find it the other day and it was gone. So those ones that are on there, they're not the finished game. So I'm not going to try that. I might try that in a different video. Not today. So, simulate Witcher 2 save. On, off. Get on. Go it in. I remember where that is. I'm gonna come get it. Oh yeah, coming and getting that skill. See your 
feet, dude. What the fuck? Oh man. How does your witcher sense not know that? You know I don't find that amusing. Oh. Ah. Older ass. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Gotta be Yennefer. Damn, she hot. <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial. Welcome to the Witcher 3 Wild Home. This tutorial will introduce the game's color elements, which message will be saved in the glossary, where you will also find detailed information about the world lore and gameplay mechanics. To sell tutorial messages, go to the options menu. Uh, no, I don't think we'll do that. However, frame rate is the minimap in the upper right hand corner of your display shows the current location of the surrounding area. Underneath the minimap, you'll find the objectives for your current quest. Okay, well, it's my current quest. Use your wish senses to find the key to the bedroom door. Hold LB to use your wish senses. Look for highlighted objects. There's one. So we're getting about 50 frames per second at the moment. If you want to examine an item more closely, walk up to it and press A. Nothing but silver. Old clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Okay, there's something over here with her dress. Do I have to hold that on? Yeah, I do. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. To be fair, that's better than clicking the stick in and blipping. Okay, so the frame rate is bouncing somewhere between. I am going to do a separate um, benchmarking video, but it's bouncing around the 45 to 60 mark. Anywhere between 45 and 60. And bear in mind, this is using two 980s, so not great at this starting point. So find the key to the bedroom door. Right, where is the. There it is. That's got to be the key, right? Examine. I did not use the sense to find out, I used my eyes to unlock the locked door, walk up to them and press A. Hey, oh great. What do we have here? Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Fingering her toiletries? I like to finger your toiletries. Unlocked. Let's go have a look around, shall we? Now the Witcher games have always been known for their uh, graphics, their intense combat, their fantastic story with consequences and not immediate consequences. And their adult nature. And I'm eager to jump in. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. A 
she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Snapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Can't help but feel that conversation would have gone the same either way. Taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. You will, huh? Right, I haven't seen him since the first witch of him. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Blindfolded the whole time? You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. Okay. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? No. Uh, yeah, go on. We'll try that. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Shoot to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe oh, if you fall. I hate to sprint. I got jump now. <laughs> that's, not, that's a bit of a weird jump. We've never had a jump in the Witcher games before, so that's kind of interesting. Hey, jump. Witcher senses hold. Don't need that. Fucking get up there, will you? Uh oh, <laughs> something's gone wrong. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. Ow. Ow. Is this my house? I mean, it's a bit run down, but it's it's all right, man. It's quite nice. Leaning, press B while running to Should leap I over obstacles. So I've got to hold green and then press blue as well. Uh, press red as well. Sorry. Yeah, 
It's also a bit wayward at the moment, gotta be honest. Oh no, Desimir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. What is that? This could have said... Sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, let's see what's changed. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. I did briefly skim over the controls in, in the menu uh, when I first looked at the game, and one or two things have changed in The Witcher 2, so... Draw your sword, Geralt! Sit through this, right. Oh my god, I read all that. Witches must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, and... Be they plate clad knights, etherhead wraiths, or bone crushing giants. To master strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witches need to use a variety of different weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trades are the swords, one steel for fighting humans and non humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witches have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witches are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Okay, excellent. So we've still got the sprint. Wait, to draw your steel sword. I really hate this. They've got fucking tutorials from the Ubisoft school of tutorials or something. Just tell me something and let me do it. Selecting targets. Right, press right stick in to select or uh, deselect your target. Yeah. There you go. Mount a fast attack against first move by pressing right. That's the same. Fast attack is the same. Mount a strong attack. Never lock your elbow when striking. Okay, that's the same. Dodge. Position Siri. Footwork. Wait for pressing move to attack. Dodge one side indicated on the Ah, so they've moved the dodge from the green button to the red button. I like fucking Dark Souls. I just spent three days getting used to Witcher 2 controls and I'm gonna go back to Dark Souls controls. Okay, fine. Fine. Oh, it's not a roll either. It's a it's a proper dodge. Roll out the way of blows. I'm too old for this shit. Oh now the roll is still the same actually, you've just got a roll and a dodge. That's Fucking nice. Now, Harry, Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle. Pretend now, live later. Hold to parry. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Just before your opponent strikes to perform a counter strike. Maybe a storm. 
Okay, so power out. Come on, do it again. Do it again. What are you doing? Come on, it's not that hard. Two, one more. Okay, so you gotta wait for him to attack. Now, young lady, to bring tap the again. It's like double tap when you see him. Witches signs. Let's start with Quinn. Okay. Activate the Quinn sign by using that and press the mouse. Active. All right, the Quinn is a um, is a shield. Let's find the Quinn sign. Tom Foolery! Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Quinn's sign protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. I do, huh? See? If not for the Quinn sign, I'd be aflame by now. Attack me then. Damn it. Oh, come on. What Ow, look at the blood. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Oh. Fuck off. Stop showing off, girl. Okay, I gotta cast the odd sign. This is like a, a push, like a Jedi push. I like that you don't, like before, I would have to do that, hold it, push it into the right place, and release. I don't have to do that anymore. I just click it once, put it to where I want, and then press the green button. That's an what improvement. In my are you doing? What am I doing? See How that, about that? Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <laughs> Axie, what do we have here? Oh, you're not paused, by the way. It's just in slow motion. So, Axie is... The green one. Look close to the face of the to cast Axie's sign. Tom Fool! Yeah. Axie can really muddle your mind. Temporarily disorientate opponents. Erden now. Show her, Geralt. Erden? Ow! <laughs> Motherfucker. And if you have a look at the top uh, left hand corner, underneath the, the, uh, the Witcher doing? Wolf sign, there's a bar. That bar indicates how many times I can activate my sign and the chosen sign right next to it. That um, that symbol, which is the same as this symbol I've picked here, Yerdan, is in there. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. Stand in the spot indicated on the minimap. Okay, the controls are pretty much the same. The, the, there are some nice tweaks, though. Hold up here to aim one of the highlighted training posts and then release the throw bomb. Come tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vesemar to stop training. Simply sheath your sword by holding left or right. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen.
find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Going on. Adnan will do this and you white wolf. No. Oh, you gonna die now. Ain't coming after my little girl. We're gonna fuck that big bad motherfucker up. Oh, so the tutorial was just a dream. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. Nope. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Kind of looks like Dawn now. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. You don't. Maybe not entirely, but no, you don't. perhaps that's for the best. We're into some Back weird unicorn topic. sex shot. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. 
could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh yes, combat. Life on the continent and in the skills, skellage, whatever, Isles is nasty, brutish and short. War lays waste to the land and those it spares, living fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. I know that! Where are they? Wait, let's get our sign on the go. We want uh, Igni. Straight up, fuck you up! Wait, why can't I? Ah, there you go. The life of my horse, goddammit. Well, control part a little bit. Why can't I cast my sign? Come back here, come back here. Come on. What are these things? Heavy. Light. Igni. Why isn't Igni working? Igni has to be... Adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates en adrenaline points. Ah, these are the... yeah. Certain abilities can acquire a... can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. The adrenaline points slowly decline when you want nine goes in combat. Of course. When armies pass necrophages, let's go before any more show up. Okay, beware to mirror soldiers hiding. Okay, fine. But that, that was going to show us something that I completely missed. Which is not fun. Horse mounting. Walk up to your horse and press the green to mount it. Okay. Hello, horse. Can I loot the body? I want it. Okay, I'm walking up to my horse. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? There you go. Talking about how useful spent they are most of their time on the road in search of the next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Garrett can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him with his travels. To have Roach come to you, double press left stick. Okay. <laughs> Roach is a character from the last game uh, who they started out as enemies but ended up as like good friends. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Mm. Oh, we got a horse you know sprinting the there. As well? How about horse no, race? I'll race you. Really upset him too. What's your horse stamina? The war not exactly going our way. Look at that fucking side. shit. Oh, out of its realms, don't up, you mean? To marry any witcher sense no around here? More. Yeah, there's blood. Of its pledge to restore See the, the stuff that we can look at. How do I get off my horse? Believe that. I want to get off Gotta my horse. Leave something. It's what keeps us going. Shit! How do I get off the horse? Get Take it easy. Off the horse. Do I have to hold a button to get off it or something? There you go. Hold red to get off the horse. Right. What do we have around here? Gather ingredients. Okay, we've got. Corthenarius, alchemy ingredient. Take all. Is that all? Oh, everything? Is that everything? Nothing else highlighted around here? No witcher sense? Oh, there is a note on. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, Geralt. I'm not going to have to change the sensitivity on this controller. Burying the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be so summarily executed. Or sonium. And back to the horse. It feels, and um, the control does feel a little bit weird to get used to. Now, I don't know if it's me, but I, I feel a little bit far away from Geralt. In the last game, I was much closer. So it feels like it's pivoting off a central point. So when I'm trying to move him, is not where I want to put him. 
Now it might be because I've been used to the Witcher, it might be the Witcher 2, sorry. It might be that I've just got to get used to it. It might be that some itself. It might be I need to adjust the sensitivity. I'm going to keep playing and see whether that changes. Come on, Roach. I'm sure it won't take me long to get used to it. Let's go. I was picking daisies, leave me alone. Oh, there's just bodies hanging everywhere around here. And it shows up on my map that there's a load of, uh, a load of ingredients popping up. Do we actually have a map? We do, we have a world map. Let's check out how big the motherfucker is. Uh, zoom with the right stick. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, well that's kind of big. There's Kaer Morhen. That's where he was. This is where I am now. Zoom into that. Oh, look how big this motherfucker is. Where are we actually going? I think we're going to there. No? Doesn't actually say where we're going. I guess I'm just following this guy. Got quests, carrots out, it's for leveling up. Still at level 1 at the moment, got to get to 1000 XP, got 260. Meditation, Glossary, Alchemy and Inventory, which should not be full because I've just just started. Okay, good. Come on. What's happened now? Sometime later? We going? Help me! Help! What is that? Okay, that kind of looks like a griffin. No, oh, let me fight it. I want to fight it. Ow. <laughs> Take him the horse, come back for the horse. Which ship? Oh. How's it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Could use free crowns? No, no, no. This one's you on the house. Anything. The first We're one's free. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, it leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. Really? But You've never seen a woman with medium long black hair? There's a here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Everyone here's Besides, got blonde and red hair, are they? The keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. You mentioned it's been added in the beast area to open the menu. Right, I don't like this big ass HUD that keeps popping up on the left. And I'm gonna shrink it down. Can I find options anywhere? Where is it? Nope, don't want that. How do 
don't get to like the main one. Ah, there you go. Head size. Well, you've got large or small. Let's see what it's like with the small one. Yeah, I think that's better. I prefer that. I don't want it that fucking big. Nope, it's still big. When on a road, hold A without steering to automatically follow its path. So, not sure how much fun that is. To the village. Why do I even have to hold A? Can't I can't just exactly. press it and just let it do it In itself? The forest or the mountain, sure, but I like steering. Near the main road. At least this way I get to look around. Man. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards are hired watchmen. Won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you as accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witches and local happenings. Okay. Whoa. So I need hold red to dismount. Come on, Roach. Slower. Asshole. Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Leave it up, don't take it down. What? Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy round here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Um, as soon as you're buying, I'll have steak, medium rare. I'll have a whole plate of chips of some mushrooms, tomatoes. Uh, any veg that you can stir up, and I'll have a strawberry bacon tart with ice cream. Options Mart will open the shop panel. Okay, great. Right, what do we want? Looking for a woman, show me what you got. Pretty busy place. Pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There are contracts on the Griffin? There are contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And 
Seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. <laughs> not for free, eh? Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Dialogue, any conversations? Dialogue options might be the expert in conversations. Great. <laughs> I kind of got that. Thanks for everything. Let's see what she's saying. Show me what you got behind the counter. I used to sound like a badass. Now I kind of sound like a pet. Show me what you got behind the counter, do you? I mean, for crying out loud. Find and sell items using the shop panel. Of course. Of course. Of course. I really need that explained to me. I mean, the other one didn't go through that fucking bullshit. Okay, this is where you buy stuff. What does she have? Catapult. Decoy. Are these... A Gwent card. What's a Gwent card? Nope, don't need that. Okay, she has a bunch of stuff we don't even know if we need yet, and I've only got 250 iron, so we will come back to that. Thanks for everything. Thanks. For everything. Look at him. Fucking perfect. Thanks. For everything. You want the banger? Never realised just how sleazy he was. I mean, he does sleazy stuff in the other two games, but... It's pretty blatant here. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Okay, Let now the control is back to us. Burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel. Talk to Drommel. these guys. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options mark will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in a character panel. Since it's telling us about it, let's try it. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. <laughs> Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast, she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take oh. your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> yeah. Still a bad motherfucker. Yeah, sit down, shut up, bitch. Get on with your dinner. I'm done with you. Who else can we talk to? There to? are four factions. Four what? Factions! Teams! What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. What? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. You're a bit of an asshole then, ain't you, really? War we'll make it to Novigrad yet? Yeah, I'll do. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. 
Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Fair point. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? Nope. No, yeah. and I don't have time to learn. Yeah, but do. the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay, this was the cars that she was selling behind the counter. The Gwent cars. Option marks will begin a game of Gwent. Okay. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. Players are generals, and the cards are their forces. On the bottom, he's on the top. You go first. Choose a card to redraw. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match, and you will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Unit card strength. This is the unit card. The number in the upper left hand corner indicates its strength. The place on the battlefield is valuable, is added to the total strength. Okay, great, get it. You get it. Cards special abilities. Some cards have special abilities. Weather cards. Choose a card to rejoin there. I want this one. This is your opponent, so got it. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Leader, I hate this. I hate the look. Games companies, what the fuck? So you just spam us with a shitload of information, and then you go into the game. You're like, wait, what did that say again? Jesus Christ, do you not know how to make a tutorial? Tell me something. Let me learn it myself. Then tell me something else. It's not that hard. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you special abilities. Okay, great. We've got a leader as well. Playing cards. Press A. Your turn. Okay. Choose my leader. Sabrina. Okay. Total strength. The number on the left indicate. Yeah, I'm already bored of this shit. Already. During your turn. Okay, cancel. Spam into the end. Spamming it, spamming it, <laughs> already fed up with this fucking bollocks. Just spamming it, yep, this coat's fine. Spam, 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 spam. Fuck, forfeit game, how do I, forfeit game, yes. Hmm. Jesus, fuck. It's not a game for everyone, requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Okay, those of you that are into things like uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, you might find some something to, to look at in that, that Gwent. But for me, like, why spam that the tutorial that bad? So I just just want to have a card, then learn how to play it, and then if I want to learn more, fair enough, it's there to to absorb. No, here's 15 things to know about it, and then just go. I'm like, well, wait, what was number one? What was number two? What was number three? Oh shit! Christ, it annoys me when so Ubisoft do that. Uh, Good job like their games everyone. are simple enough to not learn. Like everyone, and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, have a drink. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh, here's Cena. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. A 
Once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. New item received, Nymph Guardian Lemon. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub Dandelions up against here? Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. That's right, I'm the Butcher of Blaviken. Dandelion was the comic relief from the previous two games. He's an articulate guy who does poetry and paintings, and um, he's a good friend of Geralt's. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. That's right, An ill guardian point. scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yeah, maybe. Is there anything in here for me to notice from a witcher sense? Near the door. You about ready to leave, boy, or what? Look at these paintings on the wall. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Been on the path for half a year now. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad. Humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Been on the path for half a year now. See you later, Vesemir. Okay, I guess we're not riding together. And we spoke to everybody bar the cat. So let's have a look outside. Because I think we're going to consider... Something's about to happen here, I'm isn't it? We're going to have to watch this. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Don't do it. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Come on, come close. I know that fist fight him. Right, stay down, motherfucker. So we get this guy up. Nah. Get on my horse and get the frick out of here. Okay, folks. So that is going to be the uh, the darkest though, the first impressions of The Witcher Three. And again, everything is awesome. That's all you need to know, except for the tutorials. When it says skip tutorial, just skip it. You can press the button and find out what things do. These tutorials are straight out of the Ubisoft book and they're shit. It's the only thing I don't like about it so far. Everything else, apart from the kind of obscure viewing angle that's a little bit far away from the character, which I, I did notice from the um, the preview videos, 
But I seem really far away from my character. But yeah, I mean, that is the only bad thing. I mean, look, look how beautiful. Really beautiful. Open world. Witcher game. Graphics. Take it easy. On ultra, it's not running the greatest. About 50 frames per second, it's averaging it. That's with two 980s. So, you know, have a test, see what you think. But everything else, true Witcher. In fact, it's true Witcher ramps up. It's really good. Personalities are really coming through with the models and the dialogue. Everything's of the highest quality. So I'm going to keep playing it, and in about two years when I've finally finished it, because it is massive, I'm going to do a review of it. Until then, my name is Polymus Grant. It's been the Darkest Hour for The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunts. I'll see you soon.